Okay. Record. Alright everybody, Doug Matuzak, Boa Basement, 2018 Boa Birthing Season. Uh, what you're looking at here is a litter that literally was just born yesterday, May 27th, 2018. This was a breeding from a female, orange tail hypo, bred to a male motley. Obviously, I just don't do those sorts of things here anymore without a twist. Uh, this is my 30th breeding season, by the way, so uh, I've been doing this for a little while. Um, what you're looking at, uh, the mother and the father are both true triple hats. Hat for both VPI, T plus albino, sharp strain albino, and anatheristic. All pure BCI animals. So, we, you get such a myriad of, of coloration and, and combinations in here. We're, we're not sure what the heck's going on with some of these things yet. We've got to wait till they shed. They're literally a little over 24 hours old. And uh, just a lot of very, very uh, amazing little animals, it looks like, that were produced from this. True party packs. I uh, usually only see this in retic litter uh, clutches, but uh, we get these over here with our pure BCI projects as well. So once again, you're looking at animals. Uh, the parents, once again, were a orange shell hypo and a motley. Uh, all triple head for VPI T plus, sharp strain albino, and anatheristic. And we got another litter to show you in a minute. Here's a second litter. This one was literally just born a couple hours ago on May 28th, 2018. Um, same triple head project, but uh, the mother is an orange tail hypo motley and the father was is a normal and all het for vpi t plus albino sharp strain albino and anatheristic so once again another another party pack of appearances just oh very very cool and uh, we will have to decipher what's going on with the albinos we have made one VPI T plus sharp train albino animal, which I don't think I've ever shown you guys. Obviously, it's a couple years old now, so we'll sneak that into the thing. This this is a sharp strain VPI T plus albino, so it's a double double visual. And uh, there ain't a whole lot of these. Most people thought and then claimed that they couldn't even be made. But here you go. So, that's both. This is a boy. Mm -hmm. So we got some, uh, we got some plans for him. I got a female, Orange Tie Hypo Pastel Dream Motley, that's double het for just VPI and Sharp Strain. So we didn't want the anatheristic in that particular project. So this guy would be a perfect uh, boyfriend for her. Mm -hmm. So male VPI T plus sharp strain albino pure Colombian boa constrictor. No hybrids being made here. So there you go guys and we got a few uh, few other little goodies we'll show you in a minute and then you'll have to wait a couple weeks before you start seeing the real crazy stuff. But all the boas have been born for the year. Uh, just to let you know, the lavender, my lavender albinos that popped up many years ago are back in the world. And with some of the stuff I incorporated into them, um, thing, things are going to be changing for those who want to work with pure, pure Colombian stock. And frankly, even the mutt makers are going to want this stuff because the purples and the, even in one project we're starting to see greens in these albinos and it's exactly what I predicted many many years ago well I hate to say I was right but I was right and we'll let you see that stuff as time progresses but uh, I'll put these little kids away and show you one more thing and thank you very much for checking everything out guys alright guys and this is another litter Obviously, we're just showing you two of the top things that could be made here. Um, this litter was born on 
on May 23rd. So they haven't even shed yet, but you know, this kind of gets the gist of what we're looking at here. Um, what you're looking at there is a black smoke, which is a Celtic bred to a Motley, both pure Colombian. And the combination you get out of that is known as the black smokes. Um, some people try and say there's no such thing uh, because the animals that they brought in and are selling to people aren't producing black smokes because their Celtics aren't what they're supposed to be. Uh, the two places I got my Celtics from back in the day, uh, both from overseas, both from both different places, even though those guys kind of swap animals themselves, uh, both, both animals I brought in uh, both produce black smokes. Obviously, you see the white one next to it, uh, which is a white smoke. Uh, that is a sharp strain albino black smoke, so a sharp strain albino Celtic motley combination. Um, I'm not sure if any other white smokes have been made in the country so far. Um, they were made once or twice overseas, but uh, we got this little one here and we're checking him out. Gonna sit on him and see how he does. See if uh, those getting away from you. you not yet. Push him in there. Try him. But, uh, yeah, let's let's we'll just show another thing real fast. Just keep it rolling and, okay. and keep it in there. Hopefully, we won't regret. <laughs> Why do we know these aren't super motleys, which always fail and die? Well, here's a few-year-old female black smoke that I produced. Yeah, we're, we're not powering anybody around here anymore and all, all my animals from two years ago are right around the same size so these are growing every bit uh, the same exact as others. What about what the thing is about the black smokes? They seem to have a little bit of a squinch nose and you know that's about it but all you know you deal with what you deal with and but love the appearance and uh, you know just turning into very nice growing totally normally couple year old female black smoke there you go guys got a lot more to be showing you got an incubator full of eggs and you know we're always trying for really really crazy stuff in that room guard and uh, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming thank you very much for watching and subscribe share it with your friends and we'll be getting back with you guys in the near future all right guys have a good day bye bye